Why is it that people can have knee arthritis in both knees, but only have symptoms in one knee? And maybe that knee doesn't even have the worst arthritis. Maybe the other knee looks worse on the x-ray, but the pain is in the better looking x-ray. How in the world does that happen? That comes up quite quite often, especially with people with arthritis in both knees, and they're, they're confused as to why that is. And of course, now we have to look at the fact of something else is driving this pain. And usually we think of it as inflammatory driven pain. The inflammation, not the, mecha not the, not the mechanics of the picture that we see is right. the driving force. Now, that also is not sort of all or nothing kind of phenomenon. We have to take into account the fact that we just said x-ray, right? So, and if we are talking about the x-ray, then what we are saying implicitly is that we're not seeing soft tissue. And we're not seeing the, uh, the meniscus, we're not seeing the, um, uh, the, the ligaments, mm. etc. Et, et and those can be pain producing, uh, producing uh, elements. But even if we were to look at two MRIs, there are times when you see that there are some degenerative meniscal injuries on both sides, and they are never equal, but similar. 60% of people over 60 have meniscus tears and have no symptoms. Right. To, right. to, to your point, right? So yeah, exactly, it's not that the X-ray and the MRI are irrelevant. Right. They set the stage for a potential inflammatory reaction. And then it's that inflammatory reaction that either is gonna cause yeah. the symptoms or not. And it, right, that's, it, it trips people up all the time. And um, I mean, a, a lot of times people have come in, I'm sure you've had the same experience where they'll say, well, my, my, my right knee hurts, um, but I was told that I, I need both knees replaced because both knees are you know, severely arthritic. Uh, and I think, you know, personally, I think if, if a knee is not symptomatic, if a joint's not symptomatic, um, then, you know, everyone's different and, and there can be exceptions. But in general, you probably, you know, you shouldn't go cutting into it if the knee is, if, if you're not having any symptoms in it. Um, but that, that's a... Uh, yeah. But as you said, the, the holistic approach from, from that perspective is that on one hand, uh, we usually talk about if the knee is not symptomatic, don't cut into it. And that holds true for majority of people. In fact, most orthopedic surgeons will say, you'll tell me when you need the knee replacement, Definitely. right? Uh, but at the same time, if we are looking the way we usually look at the patient, we, uh, we talk about the inflammation being the driving force. Sometimes people will be told, you'll need knee replacement in a year, within a year for your left knee but then their right knee starts hurting. And a lot of the times it's because they've been compensating and, and their right. gait mechanics yeah. have yeah. changed. But to your point of inflammation, that's what's driving the inflammation and the inflammation is now causing the pain. And so in looking at that, one of the things I know we, we both are very cognizant of is not just the pain in the knee or when someone finds, finds a way around it and not having as much pain, but to look at what does that mean? What did you have to do to take away the pain? And a lot of cases, someone who has a lot of pain because of inflammation will start to compensate in such a way that they may be able to take away some of that pain, but through biomechanical adaptations. Now those adaptations may now be taxing the hips, the back, right. et cetera. And yeah. so, so there isn't a very easy and singular answer to this, but I, I feel like we're... It's a great example of why you have to treat the whole person. Yes. Right. And it's, it's, a, it's also an example of why you can't just hang your hat in an x-ray. Yes. Um, but which is not to say that the pictures are, are irrelevant. They're important. They're, but they're important. just one piece of the puzzle. Yes. There you have it. Hope you've enjoyed this. Please remember to like, subscribe, uh, comment. If you have any topics you'd like us to cover in the future, please leave them in the comment section. Thank you very much and have a great day.